Hello guys, a very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, so today we will discuss about cathode ray oscilloscope. So without wasting much more time, we will directly jump to the topic which we will discuss today is the cathode ray oscilloscope. So what do we understand by cathode ray oscilloscope? Actually, a CRO or a cathode ray oscilloscope is generally used to display, measure various waveforms in the electrical circuits. This is the main internal structure of the cathode ray oscilloscope uh, and uh, as you can see uh, it is just like a funnel shaped glass tube and the main components of the internal structure of the cathode ray oscilloscope consists of the electron gun then we have a deflecting system then we have a fluorescent scale. The electrons are first emitted from the electron gun, electron gun then transforms into a narrow beam and focused on the fluorescent screen. So these are actually called the pins through which all the electrons are connected. Then it is a heater. The indirectly heated cathode, this is a cathode and this is a control grid. So the electrons, electrons are first emitted from the indirectly heated cathode. It has a, a cylindrical like structure which is surrounded by a nickel which has a small hole in it and this hole serves the control grid means the density of the electron in the electron beam is controlled by the con by this control grid means by varying the negative potential at the control grid the electron beam in the electron gun can be controlled and uh, by making the potential more negative it does uh, reduces the current and and thus and as the intensity is directly proportional to the uh, bright uh, current is indirect uh, directly proportional to the intensity so it does reduces the brightness so it is also called a brightness or the intensity control then comes to the next uh, main structure which is a accelerating 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 anode in accelerating anode a positive voltage is applied with respect to the cathode as the name suggests that accelerating anode so when the electron beam passes through it this put positive potential at the accelerating anode will accelerates the electron so this is the functioning of the accelerating anode then we have Focusing anode and final accelerating anode. The combinational, the combinational working of focusing anode and final accelerating anode will helps us to focus the electron on the fluorescent screen. A positive voltage is applied to the focusing anode and a higher positive voltage is applied to the final accelerating anode. And in general, the final uh, the potential at the final accelerating anode it is kept fixed and the, and the electrons are focused on the fluorescent screen by uh, making the potential positive volt potential at the focusing anode. So this is the working, this is the functioning of the focusing anode and final accelerating anode where the combinational working of focusing anode and final accelerating anode helps us to focus the electron on the fluorescent screen. Then these two are the deflecting system. It is a vertical deflection plate and it is a horizontal deflection plate. Deflection plate. So, uh, in the first case, if we assume that 
neither potential uh, means in absence of any potential to the deflection plate to the deflecting system then we will observe that the electrons are focused at the center of the fluorescent screen since the no potential is applied to any of the plate but when a potential difference is applied to the vertical deflection plate then we will observe that a that the electron spot will move vertically up and down the spot will move vertically up and down and we, and when a potential difference is applied to the horizontal deflection plate then we will observe that the electron spot will move sideways and when an alternating voltage is applied to any of the plate then we will observe that the spot will oscillate in the screen and uh, oscillate and actually it's oscillate on the screen according to the frequency of the alternating voltage and in case if the alternating if the frequency of the alternating voltage is too high then we know that this due to the persistence of the human eye and the screen a continuous line will appear on the screen so this is the functioning of the deflecting system means what happened when a potential difference is applied to vertical deflection plate and then a horizontal deflection plate and when an alternating voltage is applied to any of the plates. Now comes to the walking of the fluorescent screen. The inner surface of the this is a fluorescent screen. The inner surface of the fluorescent screen is coated with a fluorescent material so when an electron this is an electron beam will strikes the inner surface of the fluorescent material fluorescent screen then we will observe that the that it will absorbs the kinetic energy of the incident electron it will absorbs the kinetic energy of the incident electron and emits as a visible light for example uh, in general purpose oscilloscope we will observe a yellow green light is produced when a Phosphor P31 is taken as a fluorescent material. So this means the emission of the visible light depends on the nature of the fluorescent material. For example, when a P31 is taken, a yellow green, a yellow green light is produced. So this is all about the uh, walking of the fluorescent material, walking of the fluorescent, uh, fluorescent screen. Then, uh, the, then uh, as the electron beam strikes the fluorescent screen, so the negative charge which are accumulated on the fluorescent screen must come back to the anode because because this if, if it does not come back to the anode then the circuit can be closed can't be closed and then the then the negative charge which are accumulated on the fluorescent screen will this will repel the incoming electron from uh, pre, means it will prevent it from reaching the screen so the negative charge which are accumulated on the fluorescent screen must come back to the anode. So a returning path must be produced. So conducting layer is produced is exist uh, at, at the side walls of the glass chamber which, uh, which produces a returning path for the electron which are known as aqua deck. So a aqua deck produces a returning path of the electron for the electron which are accumulated on the fluorescent screen uh, from uh, and preventing it from reaching the incoming electron. So this is all about the internal structure, the functioning of the internal structure of the cathode ray oscilloscope means how the electrons are first emitted from the indirectly heated cathode cathode uh, cathode tube then uh, how the potential means by varying the negative potential at the control grid helps us to control the electron at the electron uh, means the, to control the uh, density of the electron in the control uh, in the electron beam then uh, when a positive then a positive voltage is applied to the accelerating anode and how the electrons are uh, accelerated by the accelerating anode and the combinational walking of the focusing anode and final accelerating and not helps us to focus the electron on the fluorescent screen and we see that uh, how a potential difference of what happens to the electron spot how it moves first vertically up when a potential difference is applied to the vertical deflection plate and how it moves sideways when a potential difference is applied to the horizontal deflection plate and and how the electron spot oscillates in the screen when an alternating voltage is applied to any of the plates
and what is the working of the aqua then? Uh, how it produces a returning path for the electron and preventing it from reaching the screen. So that's all guys. This is all about the internal structure of the cathode ray oscilloscope. If you think that I made a clear vision of the concept of the cathode ray oscilloscope to some extent, then do like my video and obviously subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you go get notified whenever I upload new video. And and yeah, do comments guys so that and let me know in the comment section on what different topics of physics you want to make more videos on. So that's all. Thank you guys. Bye bye.